Complex fractions and unit rates. Complex fractions at first might look kind of scary, but they aren't actually that bad. They might look something like this. You have 18 on top and 1 half on bottom. So it's kind of like you're going to have two fractions. Now the way to simplify these is we just remember that this big line is essentially like dividing, right? So on top, we have 18, which we can represent as a fraction in itself by putting it over 1. This big line represents division. So let's divide by what's on the bottom, which is 1 half. Okay, this looks a little bit more manageable. Now remember when we're dividing fractions, we can use multiplication instead. It's going to be a lot easier. So let's say, bring over the 18 over 1. We're going to change this from division into multiplication by using the reciprocal. So we just flip that one, 2 over 1. Okay, so now when we're multiplying two fractions, we just have to work our way across. 18 times 2 is going to be 36. 1 times 1 is going to be 1. Simplified, our answer is simply going to be 36. So we took this one step at a time, and it actually isn't really as complex as you might think. So let's go through another example. We can use percentages as complex fractions. So we have 56 and 1 fourth percent. Now you're saying that doesn't look like a complex fraction to me. You might see this represented as a mixed number divided by 100. Because remember, that's how we get to our percentages. If this was a decimal, it would be 0.5625. So now looking at this, this looks much more complicated than just saying 56 and 1 fourth percent. But we're going to follow the same process and break this down. Okay. So we have our 56 and 1 fourth divided by 100 over 1. Now, remember, underneath here, we just have 100. Writing that as a fraction is going to be 100 over 1. Now, let's take the next step. Let's just set this up as multiplication. We're going to have 56 and 1 fourth times 1 over 100. We just use the reciprocal here to change that division to multiplication. Still, we don't want to work with a mixed number when we're multiplying two fractions. So let's figure that out. We need to convert this into an improper fraction. So we're going to have to take 56 times 4 to find out what we're going to have. Okay, so 56 times 4. We have 224. We need to add that to the one already on top. So 224 plus 1, we have 225 over 4 times 1 over 100. Now we just multiply two fractions. We work our way across, right? 225 times 1 is going to be 225 over 4 times 100 is 400. Now we need to simplify. Looking at these numbers, try and think of something that would go to them easy. I often think of money. Looking at these, I can think quarters. Does a quarter go into $2.25? 225 Yeah, you need nine quarters to go into that. Would a quarter go into $4? Yeah, of course. Any even dollar, you can have amount of quarters to get to it. So if we divide each of these by 25, 225 divided by 25, we're going to get bring it down here, 9. How many quarters does it take to get to $4? Well, 400 divided by 25 is going to give us 16. And that would be our answer. So if you have a problem where you want, they want you to convert a percentage into a fraction using complex fractions, this would be the process you would go by writing the, the percentage over 100 and taking it one step at a time. Divide, division, change it to multiplication with reciprocal, converting it into an improper fraction, and finally multiplying it and simplifying it to get your answer.